How you doing, Will Barker? Today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the Craig Pocket O Jig 720 Pro. Yeah. Big thank you to Mike with Woodcraft 716 here on YouTube. You can go check him out. I'll put a link to his channel in the description. He sent me this 720 Pro as a gift so that I can unbox and review it and see what I thought about it. Since I've had the Craig K5 now for three and a half years or so, and that's been my, my main pocket hole jig. I've probably built more pocket hole projects than anybody else on YouTube using Craig's products or Craig's pocket hole jigs. Why they don't sponsor me, I don't know. You should ask them. I'm just sweeping you sawdust. Let's get started. So this review is not all sunshine and rainbows, but there are some issues I have with the 720, but I also have ways to fix most of them. Stick around and I'll show you how I fixed it. So y'all know I'm the pocket hole king around here. <laughs> I've been pocket holing everything. And I get some I get some haters for pocket holing some stuff. And yeah, I, I could use some other joinery if I wanted to, but man, it's so easy to use this pocket hole joinery. I build so much stuff out of pocket holes. It's unreal. And a lot of people say, well, it won't hold up. Hey, I've had some of this stuff in my house now for four years and not a single bit of trouble out of it. But for beginner woodworkers, a pocket hole jig is a fantastic investment because you can just do so much with it. I'm excited about this new pocket hole jig. I don't know nothing about it other than the reviews I've seen. Uh, Woodcraft 716 has one on his channel, a review of this and what he thinks of it. I've watched that, he's done an excellent job with it. So everything is packaged in here pretty nice. So the first thing I notice is the actual pocket hole jig here. Uh, that's metal and then some metal inserts there and looks like a box of screws. Yep, so an inch and a quarter and two and a half inch screws uh, to get you started. Uh, looks like we got a bit, yep, the drill bit, uh, a driver bit. So I'm just gonna tear into it like a Christmas present. Kinda is a Christmas present for me. This is got some heft to it. I like that. Instruction manual, please. So the main part of the jig is here. This is an aluminum block. It looks like uh, wrapped in plastic maybe with those aluminum or metal type inserts there. On the back, you can see there's storage for your drill bit as well as your driver bits, which is very nice of them to do. That's always handy function. I always liked that the Craig K5 had the uh, Extension. Look at all that spare sawdust. Didn't even know I had that. That's great because I'm gonna need that later. Yeah. I mean, when you operate the clamp, it feels like you're compressing a spring, and it it sounds and feels like a cheap spring. This clamping mechanism has always been solid. It's just a lever action clamp. I've always liked this clamp. We got a one before, right here. I'm just gonna set it in there, just because. There's an adjustment on the side of the pocket hole jig, the 720 Pro, that you can adjust the tension, depending on, I guess, your preference. And then this will auto, when you clamp down on the piece, this will automatically adjust to where it needs to go. And as you press down on that handle, it'll lock into place. So clamping on this pocket hole jig versus this pocket hole jig, the K5 is a much more solid feeling clamp. This one feels, just my perception, can you, can you hear the, I don't, know, I don't really care for that. It's nice, don't get me wrong, it is nice, it just, I don't know. So to add the extension wings, but these little Lego pieces, Lego-like pieces, will go up into there. Just snaps into place there. Uh, there's some. They kept the same basic principle as the K5 with the extension wings and the storage. But now you have much more storage in each side, which is great for drill bits and driver bits. The new clamp can be uh, stored in there. So they really thought about the fact that you're gonna need storage with this thing. And I like that they fold up. I don't know, man. The storage is nice to have, but the way they've connected this with these plastic pieces, so all this is plastic, 
So basically you got a bar on this side that clamps into the notches there, just like on this side, and it basically gives it to where it pivots or will swing up. There's no way that's gonna last and not break. And it's really flimsy, as you can see. Flimsy, 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 flimsy. It feels cheap, it really does. And I, I hate to say that, but I mean, that's the truth. So I would likely be doing you a disservice if I didn't also tell you that not only will the Craig K5 work this way, it will also work this way. This uh, provided clamp slips right into that groove in there and you can just clamp it to the workbench or any place you need to and then you'll be able to use it like that. If you flip it around, the same thing goes on. There's a place to clamp that. Uh, something similar to that, they did include this clamp. That is extremely handy, I like that. Now this is neat. Now this is neat. So I was, I was just kind of playing around and I saw that uh, this slot here will fit this, which is your dust collection. Slide that in there, bam. Then this, does that, see, yep, that slides over that. Just press it on there, it's, that, that's nice. And because the dust collection on these things are really nice, they, they actually work. You'll notice on the back that there's also a, a depth a guide back here from an inch and three eighths down to five eighths. There's storage uh, on the back for your bits if you so chuck. Are you serious? Come on, man. This is supposed to be the Pro. I mean, you put Pro name on it. This is supposed to be the Craig 720 Pro. I'm a fan of Craig. You guys know that. You gotta know that if you watched any of this channel. I am a big fan of their products. I use a bunch of their products, the Rip Cut, the drawer slide jig, the K5, the R3. I use a bunch of their stuff and I have recommended a bunch of their stuff. This is the pro, it's supposed to be professional. If you're gonna put pro on the name of it, it's gotta be professionally built and it's gotta be professionally engineered. And in my opinion, they dropped the ball on this one pretty good. That shouldn't happen. What? What are we doing, man? I gotta pick this up and drop it down to, come on. I mean, a little bit of clearance there, a little bit of forethought. You're talking a quarter inch, half inch at the most, and that would clear. Uh, I just, man, come on. Also disappointing to me is how flimsy this thing is, uh, this way. It just, everything kind of moves and wiggles. It's got a wiggle to it. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Let's drill a pocket hole. We got a one before, a one before. Shot back, we're gonna see how the dust collection works. It pulled in a majority of the dust. Let's, I'm gonna show you how much it makes without the dust collection. So you can see that, uh, I don't know if you can see it inside there. Quite a bit of dust that come out of there. And so the dust collection actually does work well. Uh, it, it always worked well on the Craig K5, I just never used it. So if you're working with different size material, like a one before, that work, it clamps down on that. Then you have to do some two befores, which is gonna be the thickest material you're gonna be able to get in this jig is a two before, from what I can tell. It, it auto adjusts, clamps down just perfectly fine. And then of course, if you got plywood, this is a three quarter inch sheet of plywood. It's gonna auto adjust to that. There's some give to it. It feels almost a little bit squishy. You can actually see it uh, bend, and I'm not putting a whole lot of pressure on that but it does give. It's got some flex in there. This one not so much because it has this inside, solid as rock. This one, squishy as a sponge. So when these are folded up, that's what these little dooley dads are. These little twisty plastic pieces, they will lock it into place so that it's nice and stored. But that, that's nice that you can actually fold these up. It's a nice compact design. Just put that out of the way. Because it flexes so much, if you don't uh, screw this down somehow, mount it to a board, you're gonna have issues. So we should mount it to a board, right?
Got my little board made, so I just made it 12 inches wide by 24 inches long. I'm gonna, I've marked center. Uh, basically, that gives me approximately uh, nine and three quarters on each side, and then a one inch uh, this way. That's my 720 Pro mounted on a piece of three quarter inch plywood. I've got a couple of handle holes in there. They're four inches by an inch and three quarter bit. This makes this a little more solid. Even screwed down, these wings are rickety, which I do not like because you could screw down the other uh, ones on the, seven, on the K5 and make it rigid. Come at me, bro. Ah. Fixed it. So this is a Craig 720 Pro and I just fixed most of the things that I complained about during the review. So if you see, I've mounted it to this board. This is a three quarter inch sheet of plywood with a couple of handle holes cut in it so that I can move it around the shop with ease. I've actually attached these wings because of the way they designed it. From what I could tell, there was no way to attach the wings uh, the way they wanted them attached into this uh, piece because the way these things fold out you couldn't get these wings on plus screw it to a board which is just it doesn't make sense why would they do that i don't get it unless unless i'm missing something and you can tell me in the comments that i'm a big dummy and i i just missed it they this is poorly designed for putting it on a board which a lot of people do they actually designed the k5 to go on a board so it doesn't make sense that they wouldn't do it for this one i actually just took these pieces and used to mount there so that uh, I got two mounting points here on each side and then they would still move like this so I just put a screw in there and that ties it to that board uh, same thing on this end it's got one screw in there this thing is solid as a rock so that fixes most of the rickiness with it obviously I don't think this is the best I think the k5 was much better than this one I do I think that they kind of dropped the ball a little bit on this one. They've got some nice design features going. They've got, uh, it was a good idea. It was a good idea. It was poorly implemented, in my opinion. I'll give this one, can we do half fist bumps? I'm gonna give it a three, a three fist bump out of five. And for a couple of reasons, it just feels cheap. It just feels cheap. It, I know it's all plastic. All the Craig stuff is plastic. They usually have some really good plastic. The plastic on the K5 was much better, I think. Uh, it's just different. It's a harder, more rigid plastic. This is a softer plastic. The clamping mechanism, while it may work for years to come, we're gonna find out, Lord willing, uh, but it just feels cheaper than the K5. The K5 has been rock solid. I mean, it has been rock solid. I've really enjoyed that one. Uh, mounted to a board, you're gonna make this a lot more solid if you mount it like this. If you don't mount it, then these wings, I mean, it makes it more compact because you can fold it up and lock it into this little tiny thing to store. That's fine. Mounting it on the board, you're gonna have more structurally sound wings, so they're not gonna be moving on you. Not that that matters too much unless you're using the handy dandy depth stop. Once you start using this to set the depth, if the wings are moving and flexing, then this is gonna move and flex a little bit, which causes problems with accuracy if you need those pocket holes the exact same place every time. Uh, it may only move a 16th or so, but we all know a 16th and an eighth in woodworking is a big deal. So three out of five fist bumps for the Craig Pocket Hole Jig 720 Pro. If you like this video and you wanna see more tool reviews, you can click that box right there, take you to the whole playlist of all the tool reviews I've ever done. If you click that box, I give you that big old virtual fist pump. And I thank you very much for watching this. Let me know in the comments below what you think about the Craig 720.